U.S. will not be allowed to use Saudi Arabia. East Biden falls under the spell of Bacchus, the god of wine. You know, I don't know the difference between an artichoke and a turnip, but since I've been here at this festival, I found out that there are as many ways to prepare an artichoke as there are days of the week. It all started with the apple. When Eve took the first bite, she created sin. And here at the Chateau de Broy, they create bottles and bottles of sin every day. Welcome to Destinations, coming to you this time from Wiesbaden, the capital of the Rheingau, and right now, the site of the Wiesbaden Wine Fest. I'm Gary Bautel. And I'm Ann Mulligan, and this is the largest wine fest in all of Germany. They've got 75 vineyards represented here, and each one has a wide variety of different wines in each booth. Yeah, I don't think we can try them all, Ann, but uh, let's go take a look. We'll see what we can find out. And there is a lot to see and taste during the nine days when Wiesbaden falls under the spell of Bacchus, the god of wine. The entire center of the city has been taken over by the fest, which officially opened on Friday the 9th and runs through Sunday, the 18th of August. The governing mayor, Hildebrand Diehl, officially opened the 97th annual week of Rheingau wine, and German dancers performed a classic Spanish flamenco for the festgoers, which is rather fitting for our destination show, since we will be visiting some other fests in Europe later in the program. Golden-colored wines of the Rhine region are called Rhine Gold. Perhaps an apt description also for Germany's wine queen, Petra Gardiner, who travels the world representing German wines. 300 days in the year around the world, I was in Salt Lake City by the Olympics, present German wine. I was in Japan, Korea. I'm in Berlin, Bonn, everywhere where there's German wine. I am there. Huh. And if someone tells you, well, um, the Germans, they don't really make very good wine, the French make better wine, the Italians make better wine, you know, what do you say? What do you defend yeah. your wine? German makes very good wine because we have, look around, you see what we have. We have beautiful places, a beautiful nature, we have culture, and it's all together makes the wine. There is something about a wine festival, especially in such a historic and charming setting. It's a very pleasant atmosphere. The city provides additional public transportation during these days for those without designated drivers. Many people travel to Wiesbaden for their vacation during the fest. It's a family affair for all ages. We ask, I'm sorry, I can't resist the pun, we ask her wineness about that. No, it's um, something special. Um, you. You meet people, you can speak with each other, only with the wine, and every, yeah, everybody is very friendly, the people talk together, sit together, and it's, that's, that's German wine. will ever forget this day, yet we go forward to defend freedom and all that is good and just in our world. Even though it was a gorgeous, beautiful day, it had this somber strangeness to it. 
The scene here in Somerset County, Pennsylvania is still very busy tonight. AFRC is paying homage to summer with Summer Sea Fest at Lake Kimsey Resort, August 17th. Spend the summer day enjoying games, prizes, beach volleyball, music, the lake, and an all-American barbecue. Some professional training can be pretty boring, filled with dull lectures. But not MWR training. Looking for exciting, interactive training? Want to enhance your job expertise and performance? Become competitive for promotions and raises? MWR Training and Development Europe provides hands-on training in all areas of MWR. For more details, check out our website. who has this great job of being a spokeswoman for the Rheingau Wine Fest. Well, Caroline, here we are in a beautiful historic Wiesbaden, all these beautiful houses around here and buildings, and there's a wine fest right in the middle of the city. What, what's so special about this wine fest? Wiesbaden's wine fest is very special because of this 110 stands which just sells wine from the Rheingau, and we have one stand from our partner city from Slovenia here, and about four stages with every day different kinds of different music. Different kinds of music from jazz, rock and roll, old classic music and stuff. A lot of times when we say fest, we think about carnivals and rides and games, but that's not here in Wiesbaden, is it? No, it's very traditional for young people but also um, older people. It's about we have about 3,000, no, 30,000 visitors per um, festival. If someone were to come to a wine fest, what would they, what should they do? Uh, great. It's great in Wiesbaden because you have the wine festival here to just sit around, stand around, to drink wine, to eat something, to listen to the music and then go maybe to the city, um, watch the historical um, buildings maybe chill out in the park. You can do everything in Wiesbaden. It's not just the wine festival, but the wine festival looks great. You can do a lot of people watching here too, can't you? Yeah, of course. When you go to a beer fest, it's very much different than a wine fest. Why is a wine fest so much more pleasant to go to? Because when you drink wine, it's more, what means genuss? It is enjoyment. Enjoyment, it's not just drinking, it's just to sit, talk with friends, meet new people, and have fun. Well, thanks for telling us about the wine festival. Thank you, and enjoy your time at the wine festival. We will. official U.S. Army Europe where leisure travel has never been so easy. Log on to www.sadotravel.com slash user and book your vacation or official travel via the net. No waiting, no lines. When there's a mission to accomplish, your time is essential. www.sadotravel.com slash user allows you to reserve leisure or official travel from anywhere in Europe 24 hours a day.
The boss program plans trips, especially for uh, the soldiers. We like to, you know, just get out and have some fun, let these guys let loose. I think boss is a good program. You have to go places. It brings people to you. The first two years of your child's life is the optimum time for language development. Reading to your child for 15 minutes a day is a great way to develop your child's language skills. Not only do the visitors enjoy the wine fest, for the vintners represented here, it is a great opportunity to make new customers and get people's reaction to their wines. Most of the vintners here are family businesses, such as the Don family. Daughter Barbara has been around grapes and wine all her life. It is very different to grow up in a family business, but it is great because you get to meet so many people. The family sticks together and works together. Everybody helps out. At home, if a customer comes, mom might be making something in the kitchen. Dad discusses the wine. It is really nice. The festivals like this require an awful lot of work. I mean, you can't go out and hire a whole staff. It works because the family works together. I like it. I'm here in the wine booth every day. Of course, it is a lot of work. But with the whole family involved, it is fun. Many people in the Rheingau region buy their wine from the same vintners year after year. And the relationship between the vintner family and their customers is often that of longtime friends. For Carl Don, it is important to know what kinds of wines are currently in demand. Also für uns, für Deutschland, ist typisch natürlich der Weise. For us here in Germany, white wine from the Riesling grape is the major product. It has a strong, dry taste, which is not to everyone's liking, but a lot of finesse. As far as the reds are concerned, we use the Burgundy grape. We also make a rosé from this grape. The wines that, uh, that are called Auslaser, Spätlaser, uh, what, what makes them special? What makes them different? The difference between a normal wine and a... The difference between a normal Spätlaser wine and the Auslaser is the normal wine uses only the fresh ripe grapes picked late in the season. The Auslaser wines use the overripe grapes which look like raisins. Even single grapes with very little juice are used. The result of one picking might make two or three bottles of wine. That is why it's a specialty product and very expensive. And very sweet. But red wine is also very nice. Wine is, of course, the reason for the whole fest, or more specifically, Rheingau wine. But wine is meant to be taken with food, and there's no shortage of tasty snacks available, some with strange names, but which apparently taste pretty good. And there are the standard items, such as pretzels, which come in all sizes and stuffed with cheese or salami or even garlic sauce. And there is... Um, oh, What's your recommendation? What do you think people should be eating when they drink a lot of wine? Yeah, like this, like um, they don't get drunk. A lot of things with bread. <laughs> yeah, and they have all the yeah, yeah. Whether they're after the onion cake, garlic bread, or something called vintner steak, many people here seem more interested in the food than the wine. Uh, well, let's try out this wine here. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah. You no, know, this is a season for festivals, and in Italy, a country that's, of course, known for its wine. We've got all these interesting snacks that go along with yeah, those drinks. Yeah, they even have festivals dedicated to food. 
Uh, Army Sergeant Gary Piccarillo, in fact, will take us to the Campania region in Italy for their annual artichoke festival. Artichoke. Artichokes. Think of it as the region's biggest block party. A local celebration shining a spotlight on the district's most sought after product, the Sagra di Carciofi, or the Artichoke Festival. It pulls in hundreds of families from surrounding towns, all brought together over a weekend to celebrate, salute, publicize, and otherwise eat artichokes. You know, I don't know the difference between an artichoke and a turnip, but since I've been here at this festival, I found out that there are as many ways to prepare an artichoke as there are days of the week. Who would have thought that this leafy vegetable can be used to make everything from bread to sausage? These artichokes are from the local area grown in Achera. I've never figured out if it's because of the water, the temperature, or the earth, but the artichokes we grow are smaller than the ones you normally see in other areas. This makes, I believe, a tastier, more tender artichoke. The festival had a little bit of everything in addition to an endless variety of artichokes. Lots of people, fun and games, and music, courtesy of Allied Forces Southern Command's Sink South Band. Any way we can get out and uh, bring some joy to these people, and anywhere we go, is going to be something worthwhile to all of us. And we all enjoy planting, so it's a good thing. Every region profiles its most famous product. Some areas spotlight wine, others sausage, and still others olives. But none perhaps is loved as the artichoke. The artichoke is a flower more than a plant. And every year we promote this beautiful flower in every possible way. And people come from all over. We encourage Americans and visitors from all areas to enjoy our festival. Our artichokes will make you happy, content and healthy, and you can't ask for more than that in life. È buonissimo, ci rende felici, ci rende contenti e siamo sicuri che veramente per la salute e anche per la salute è anche un buon prodotto. This festival will end, but the local appetite for artichokes won't die down anytime soon. Not as long as imagination and ingenuity can come up with so many interesting and tasty variations of this unique vegetable. Reporting from the 10th annual Sagra di Carciofi, I'm Air Force Sergeant Gary Piccarillo, AFN News. I really like artichokes. How about you? Well, you know, uh, I've eaten them from time to time, but, but you got to get the heart out. That's a good part. you got to peel all those things away. and It's just too much work, you know. Well, now back to Italy for a look at another delicacy. Uh, this time, pine nuts. Army Sergeant Mike Wetzel is over near Livorno, and he's having a little trouble getting at the goodies. Yeah. We couldn't get inside. The town of San Piero Grotto invites everyone to its annual celebration of the pine nut, the Sagra del Pinolo. But the makeshift ristorante, where one can actually taste the pine nut, is more exclusive than the hottest Manhattan nightclub. A fence surrounds the place, short enough to look over, yet tall enough to say, you can't get inside. San Piero Grotto is the closest town to Camp Darby. And a group of us adventured down the road to see what on earth a pine nut restaurant had on its menu. A sagging tarp revealed a great cookout and a pine cone mountain. Here lies the town secret. Instead of charcoal, cook food over burning pine cone. We waited with the masses for our turn to feast at this old-fashioned pine barbecue. We hoped they wouldn't run out of food. We knew they couldn't run out of pine cones. We waited some more. Loudspeakers blared the next lucky party to get behind the fence. It had the feel of some weird prison the inmates were trying to break into. At last, we broke in. Inside, an army of teenaged waiters scurried about with plastic plates from the pine grill. Only women cooked the spaghetti. Only men played with fire. That may be sexist, but we didn't care. We were inside chomping on pine toasted garlic bread and slurping up green spaghetti with the pine nut pesto sauce. The pesto sauce was the only thing I saw with pine nuts as an ingredient, but that didn't bother us either. We talked and laughed and gorged. So is pine smoked meat and pine nut spaghetti the best meal ever? It certainly seemed that way. Or maybe food just tastes better when you're eating and other people can't get inside. For Destinations, I'm Sergeant Mike Wetzel. But we're going to take a look at a beverage that's got a little bit more kick to it. Yeah, you wouldn't want to drink it like wine. You drink maybe about this much of it. That's all you want. Uh, in fact, we're going to the uh, Normandy region. 
where Private Audrey Pomeris tells us about French apple brandy, or as it's called there, Calvados. In the dark, peaceful cellars of the Chateau de Broy in Normandy, France, a French obsession brews. Apple brandy, better known as Calvados, has always been a French specialty. And here at the Chateau de Broy, workers have a certain passion for the beverage. The distinct taste of this aromatic brandy starts with more than 800 kinds of apples, which are mashed, fermented, distilled, and aged to make the Calvados. It all started with the apple. When Eve took the first bite, she created sin. And here at the Chateau de Broy, they create bottles and bottles of scent every day. The Chateau de Broy became a distillery in 1954 when Monsieur Philip Bizouard bought the castle and the surrounding apple orchards. The 2,200 apple trees produce 3,000 tons of apples every year. Tourism director Eric Fournier says they use only the best apples to create their Calvados. We focus on quality more than on quantity. We focus on quality here in Chateau de Broy. Maybe it's the quality of the Calvados that draws 43,000 visitors every year for tours and sampling. The tour takes you through the distillery where the apple cider is slowly heated, vaporized, condensed, and cooled at precise temperatures. The cider is then put into wooden casks where it stays for 2 to 40 years. The younger Calvados has a light fruity flavor, while the older Calvados has a more woody taste, is more concentrated, and more expensive. After visiting the distillery, it's on to the tasting room, where visitors can sample the 15-year-old Calvados and shop at the gift store. One visitor from Lakewood, California, says the distillery gave him a taste of home. Well, it makes me think a lot about uh, going through American wineries, particularly in California and the Napa Valley, where they make brandy. But the distillery is unique. With its castles and towers, traditional drawbridge, and beautiful gardens, the Chateau de Broy is a historical monument as well as a distillery. From Normandy, France, Army Private Aubrey Palmeris, AFN News. And that's our destination, Wiesbaden Wine Fest. And Anne, we didn't even get to try all those 97 vintners. Or the 18 food stands. Nope. But heck, we live in Wiesbaden. We can always come back again. It's true. And you can have a chance to try out a wine fest in your local area. So get out, enjoy the local culture. And in that spirit, Prost. Prost. Prost.